the question goes as a company purchased the machinery for rupees 10 lakh on 1st april 2003 and on 1st january 2004 another machine was purchased for rupees 5 lakh so students in this case we are required to prepare a machinery account and there are two different machines that have been purchased on two different dates then it further goes on to say that depreciation is charged at 10% on original cost original cost means straight line method then accounts are closed on 31st december each year that means the financial year is for this particular company taken as 1st january to 31st december and we are required to show machinery account till the end of 2005 that is 31st of december 2005 So let us start from first April two thousand three. Date is first April two thousand three. We have purchased the machinery. Whenever we purchase the machinery, the journal entry would be machinery to bank. So in machinery account, it would be recorded as to bank account. Amount would be rupees ten lakh. Now this year. is supposedly closing on 31st december 2004 as it is very clearly mentioned that accounts are closed on 31st december each year so this year or this financial year 2003 will come to end on 31st december 2003 now in this case we have used this machinery for 9 months 9 months because we had purchased it in april so for april may june july going on till december it has been used for 9 months so then by depreciation would be charged for 9 months so by depreciation account it would be calculated as 10 lakh into 10% for 9 months it comes to rupees 75000 now since this is the last date we will balance the account the total of the debit side comes to 10 lakh on the last date that is 31st december 2003 by balance carry it down 10 lakh minus 75000 is 9 lakh 25000 and the total is 10 lakh on both the sides now entries for 2003 are complete this closing balance of 2003 would be brought down as opening balance in the beginning of 2004 so it would be 1st january 2004 to balance brought down 9 lakh 25000 now it is it is clearly mentioned that on 1st january 2004 we have purchased another machine for rupees 5 lakh so on 1st january 2004 another machine has been purchased so we'll write it as to bank account and for sake of convenience i'll mention second here just to signify that this is second machine so we must mention one here that is this was the first machine now students This machine has been purchased for rupees five lakh. So to bank five lakh here. Again, as the year goes by, there is there is no other entry. So on the last date, that is thirty first twelve two thousand and four. Depreciation would be charged by depreciation. Now we have two machines. First and second first machine was originally priced at rupees 10 lakh so in this case depreciation would be charged at 10% on 10 lakh because it is original cost method so for first machine 10% of 10 lakh is 1 lakh we have a second machine also which was purchased during this year since this machine was purchased on 1st january that means depreciation will be charged for the whole year whole 12 months which in this case comes to 50000 so the total depreciation now is 1 lakh 50000 
let us find the balance again totaling this it comes to 14 lakh 25 thousand and on the last date buy balance carried down 14 lakh 25 thousand minus 1 lakh 50 thousand would be 12 lakh 75 thousand the total is 14 lakh 25 thousand on both the sides again this is the closing balance of year 2004 it would be brought down as opening balance on 1 1 2005 to balance brought down 12 lakh 75 thousand now students again at the end of this year that is 31st December 2005 by depreciation we have two machines the first machine was originally priced at rupees 10 lakh so the depreciation will be 10 percent of 10 lakh that is 1 lakh for the first machine the second machine cost was rupees 5 lakh so the depreciation is 10 percent of 5 lakh that is 50,000 so the total depreciation comes to rupees 1 lakh 50,000 for this year at the end of the year you will find the balance 12 lakh 75,000 minus 1 lakh 50,000 so by balance carried down would be 1275 minus 150 11 lakh 25,000 and this is where the question will end because we were required to prepare machinery account till the end of 31st March 2005 but just for the sake of convenience and representing the going concern assumption on 1st January 2006 we'll just bring down this balance to balance brought down 11 lakh 25 thousand and just leave it there only